Well, what an amazing day of fun and music in the vineyards at Bago. And it's far too early to head off home just yet, so I've decided to extend our day trip with another little drive through some of the more beautiful state forests near Bago. This time we're headed off on a loop which takes us through the forest and then around the edge of the area known as Cedar Creek before arriving back where we started this trip near Herons Creek. Milligan's Road is a dirt road and at this end it's not in very good condition at the moment with lots of bumpy bits and rocky bits. However, it is still suitable for two-wheel drive vehicles. Just make sure when you come up on the entry and exit to the quarry that you take the right-hand turn here. The speed limit is at 40 kilometres an hour due to the logging in the area at the moment. So if you keep around or under 40, then you'll be fine. Of course, when passing other vehicles on these narrow dirt roads, slow down even more and move over to the left as far as you can to let them pass. My golden rule 99% of the time is to pull over and stop especially if the oncoming vehicle is bigger than me, or if they happen to be coming uphill. And in any case, the slower you go, it gives you a better chance to take in all the forestry operations that are going on, and respond to any hazards as they appear. There's a left hand turn coming up at the top of the hill here, right where that big gum tree is, so <laughs> don't miss it. Yes, do, do miss it, do miss the gum tree. And check out the narrow track on the left just over the hill here. It's amazing that the timber workers can get their dirty great big trucks up and down those narrow pathways. It's quite fascinating looking at all the different things that are happening here as you travel through the forest. Now at this time of day, I can show you how interesting it can be for the driver when travelling along dirt roads. They are narrow, so passing someone, as we've seen, can be interesting. But the glare reflecting through the trees with the twists and turns in the road can mean your concentration is important. And the changing colours, the light and the dark, make driving a little more exciting than just along an old boring highway. So please don't go too fast, as conditions can and do change quickly, so you'll need to be prepared to slow down or stop at any time for bumps, potholes, other vehicles, trees or even animals. We're coming out of the main part of the forest now, so carefully turn left here into Blackbutt Road and say goodbye to Milligans. We're on the home stretch now and coming over the top of the next hill, coming in to look at the beautiful parts of Cedar Creek Valley. 
you know, I, I, I really love this spot. There's just something about it, which is probably why there's a Cedar Creek Retreat right at the start of the valley there. It's, it's just a magical part of the country. As you can see from the map, we're skirting along the edge of the state forest here with the farmlands along Cedar Creek on our left hand side. This part of Black Butt Road is actually in pretty good condition, it's fairly good dirt much to my youngest daughter's disgust as she was quite enjoying all the bumpy bits earlier. Righto, coming up on the left hand side are a couple of interpretive signs. You might like to take a few minutes and have a bit of a break and find out a little bit more about the Cedar Creek area and also some of the Axemen and the early settlers by reading the signs. Once you've done that, don't forget to turn right to continue along Black Butt Road. An eagle-eyed young passenger in the back seat spotted that kangaroo, that black dot, <laughs> is on the left-hand side. By the time I stopped, it had gone, so I'm oh, sorry, no more photos of it. Looks like we're back in civilization again, so I can sing my favourite Willie Nelson song, Back on the Tar again. Ah, uh, sorry. Some more signs for you to look at here about the Cedar Way, and then turn left after that to head off into Herons Creek Village. One thing you will notice along this part of our day trip is the number of these interpretive signs that have been placed in various strategic spots around the community. You could stop and read all of them if you wanted to. There's one that you definitely should have a little look at here. Pull over into that little car park on the right there to check out the Turpentine Tramway. Well, we're on the last leg of our extended day trip today. You know, we've been out for over six hours so far. Well, that includes the four hours of absolutely amazing, no more nice puns, please, amazing fun that we had at Bago on their Music in the Vineyards Day on the second Sunday of every month. been terrific. Glorious winter day. And now we're back where we started from. Back at the Herons Creek Interchange. So if you're headed north to Kempsey or Port Macquarie or beyond, go left there. Otherwise, keep going around here to head south to Lauriton, Taree, wherever. And just take note that around this part of the roundabout, just in front of you here is another possible day trip. Straight down there is the Pioneer Way. Take a picnic lunch, check out a few more hysterical bits and picnic on the north edge of Queens Lake. But right now we're headed home. I've got to find some girls to uh, wash the dust off the car. Wish me luck. <laughs> 